Hello student, here we discuss normality equation n1 v1 is equal to n2 v2 where n1 is the normality and v1 is the volume in both the cases. This is for acid, this is for base. But sometimes um, any one of them can be diabasic or diacidic vice versa. So here we will use formula n1 m, m1 v1 n2 m2 v2. What is n1 here? It is equivalence per mole. Okay, for we can say n factor for this. So we have to find out limiting reagent also at during the time of and excess reagent during the time of neutralization and after it. See, calculate the enthalpy change when 50 ml of 0.01 m CaOH whole twice react with 25 ml of 0.01 m HCl acid. Now, given delta is neutralization of a strong acid and a strong basis, remember 13.7 kilocalorie per equivalence. Now, but equivalence means we have to use N1V1 equation. But here, mm, calcium hydroxide is C, CaOH holder, is, it will release 2OH ne negative ions. So, N factor is 2 for this. So, base we will do first. So, N2V2 is equal to milli equivalence of base. At that moment, we will use word N2 into M2 into V2. Why? Because normality is equal to molarity into N factor. Here, I have not written. Here, written. I written. Normality is equal to molarity into n factor. Here I am writing m. So equivalence per mole is known as n factor. So normality is equal to molarity into n factor. That is equivalence per mole. Then mole mole will be cancelled out and we will get equivalence. That is why. And when this n2 and v2 or n1 and v1 are multiplied to each other, at that moment we call it milli equivalence. Okay. So here milli equivalence of base will be calculated out. Because um, n factor for calcium hydroxide is 2, so n2 is 2, and molarity 0 0.01, volume is 50 ml, so answer will be 1. So, 1 equivalence of n base calcium hydroxide. Now, we will see um, for uh, acid, n1 um, n factor is 1 because only 1 H positive release, and uh, m1 given here 0 0.01, v1 given 25 ml, so answer will be 0 0.25 milli equivalents. Now, here 0 0.25 milli equivalents, here 1 equivalence which is least this is least means it is completely consumed and for neutralization reaction the amount should be same number of equivalent should be same so only 0 0.25 of um, calcium hydroxide is used up so um, this is completely used so this is limiting reagent and this is excess reagent calcium hydroxide is excess reagent clear how much 0 0.75 equivalent excess now one equivalent correspond to 13.7 so 0 0.25 into 10 to power minus 3 here it is equivalence here it is milli equivalence okay answer it will be in milli